One question a lot of people have is, are off-white hoodies worth the price? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a close-up look at an off-white hoodie just to see if the quality matches the price tag. And then at the end of the video, I will be trying on the hoodie just to give you an idea of how it fits. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get right into the review. Starting off with the plastic bag that the hoodie comes in. As you can see on the front, it has a orange PB that stands for product bag. And if you didn't know it already, this bag is not a toy. And then on the back of the bag, it has the iconic off-white diagonal stripes in white as well as some typical off-white branding and the barcode of the hoodie. The hoodie also comes with the typical off-white hang tag. Now that the packaging's out of the way, time to get to the hoodie itself. Starting off with the material of the hoodie, it's a full cotton hoodie and it has a really nice weight to it. It's not like super thin or really cheap feeling. It's a really nice quality hoodie. The material on it's really nice. And then the inside of it is like a fleece material, which most hoodies are like that anyway. Now going over some of the details of the hoodie, starting at the top has a really nice big hood. So you'll see that once I try it on. Has a little blue A, which I I don't know what that's for, but it's there, so that's what that is. And then also on the front of the hoodie, it says Off-White TM, Fall Winter, and then it has the year right under it. And then moving on to the drawstrings, one of them says Off-White and then Virgil Abloh, and then the other one says shoelaces like the Nike shoes do. And then a cool little detail of these drawstrings is they're both dipped in wax, so that's a nice little detail. Most hoodies don't have that, so I think that's a cool little touch. It just makes it so that way you can't like easily break the aglet on the drawstring. So I, I just think that's a really nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but just adds like a little bit of quality, you know? Also on the front of the hoodie, it has the typical hoodie pocket, which it's pretty big. It's not like super small or anything. And then going to the back of the hoodie, that's where the main graphic is. And the hoodie I have is the unfinished hoodie. That's what the actual hoodie's called just because the graphics like the typical off-white arrows but it's just like unfinished there's like some of the areas where the line isn't there like there's no line right here and then i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but one of the arrows is missing that's just why it's called the unfinished hoodie and the graphic isn't too noticeable so if you don't want people to know that you have an off-white hoodie but you still want one this may be a good option for you just because the graphic is pretty subtle you can still kind of tell it's an off-white hoodie but it's not like a blaring off-white hoodie where the back graphic you can just easily tell so Nice little subtle piece. And then moving on to the sleeves of the hoodie, it does have that common off-white theme where the dash lines go all the way down the sleeve. But this one does have the unfinished pattern, just like the back graphic where some of the lines are missing. So I think that's really cool. And then there's also some wording on each of the sleeves as well, just some more off-white branding. And to finish off the details of the hoodie, it does have a tag on the collar. So that's what that looks like. It just has the typical off-white branding and then it says main label. That wraps up the detailed look of this off-white hoodie. Now I'm gonna throw it on, give you my overall thoughts on it, whether I think it's worth it or not. So let's get right into it. Here's what the off-white hoodie looks like while wearing it. Overall, I think this is a really nice piece and it fits me really well. So I'll just do like a quick 360 so you can get a full look at it. Front, as you can tell, really plain, just has that little off-white branding right here. And then the sleeves have that unfinished print. And then as you saw in the back, it also has that unfinished print. And then the hood on this hoodie is huge. So here's what it looks like. Covers up pretty much your whole face almost. So that could be pro or con if you want like a hood that big, but I, I'll never use the hood, so it doesn't really matter to me. Now on to sizing of this hoodie. I went a full size up on this, so I got a double XL instead of my normal extra large size. And I did that because I wanted to fit a certain way. I wanted the sleeves to be a little bit longer than my arms just because I didn't want them to be short sleeves or anything. So I got hoodie with longer sleeves and then it also fits a little bit longer in the torso and a little bit looser. That's just how I wanted it to fit. I didn't want it to be like a tight hoodie. I wanted it to be kind of oversized, but not like super oversized if you know what I'm saying. So that's why I got that size. And just for off-white hoodies in general, you're gonna have to go by measurements. It's really hard to go by just like the tag size just because they're all made differently. That's what I did for this hoodie. I went by measurements on Essence. And if you don't know what that is, it's a website that sells all the designer clothes and they sell off-white as well. So what you do is you go to that website, you find the hoodie you want, and then there's a link that says sizing and measurements and you click that and it just shows all the measurements for every single size that they have in inches or centimeters depending on where you live. So that's really helpful, really nice, easy way to find your size. So you don't really wanna go by just the tag size, you definitely wanna go by measurements. So just measure clothes you already have and just find ones that fit the way you want them to and just find the measurements of those and just use that and compare them to the measurements on the site. That's what I did, it's a really easy way and you'll be able to find the hoodie you want and get it how you want it to fit. So 
highly recommend you do that before buying one. So that's just a little tip if you didn't know that. It'll definitely save you some time. You won't have to return anything because you know you'll be buying the right size. Now on to whether or not I think off-white hoodies are worth or not. Just some pros about it. The hoodie has really nice quality. The graphics are really nice quality. They don't feel like they'll crack or just rub off or anything. That's what the impression I had just based on the one I have. But some cons are the price. Like this hoodie retailed for $605 and there's no way I would ever pay that for a hoodie unless I was like super rich or something. So definitely wait until this hoodie goes on sale. Most designer clothes go on sale anyway, so you should never pay full price for designer clothes just because they'll go on sale at some point during the year. I waited for this hoodie to go on sale and this hoodie retailed for $605, which is absurd. And when I bought this on sale, it was $260, so still super expensive for a hoodie, but definitely a lot better than $605. Like I would rather pay 260 for this hoodie. I think that's a more reasonable price for this hoodie. It's really nice quality, really nice graphic, and it's like super hyped up, so you know it's a flex. So just definitely a lot better buy than buying it for full retail. So you can just wait a couple months and save yourself hundreds of dollars. So that's always really nice. Or you can buy it used and maybe save some money. But off-white hoodies generally hold their value pretty well. So if I wanted to sell this, I could probably honestly sell this for more than I bought it as long as I don't ruin it. Definitely wait in the summer or in the winter. There's usually two times per year that stuff goes on sale, so definitely look out for that. So that's just my opinion on whether or not I think it's worth it or not. Overall, I think they are worth it if you can get it on sale. I don't think they're worth it at all if you pay full retail price for them just because spending 500 plus on a hoodie is like unnecessary in my opinion. Like honestly, if you want it for the flex, definitely do it, but you can save yourself hundreds by just waiting a couple months. Overall, that sums up my thoughts on whether or not I think this hoodie is worth it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Now, I wanna hear your guys' opinion, so Comment down below if you think this hoodie is worth it or not. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel. I pretty much upload every week, so just make sure you're subscribed so you can see the next time I upload a video. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.